This is the new Flashpoint AutoStand Pro, which is a much welcome improved version of the original Flashpoint AutoStand. If you're unfamiliar with this product, then all you need to know is that it's gonna make your life easier whenever you shoot with lighting on location or anywhere that you want to pretty much eliminate a step in the process of moving your light stand. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean because I actually have one right here. This is the nine foot, but they also have a seven foot and a 13 foot. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean by making your life easier. So I have this lower section here on the light stand and I'm gonna loosen it. And when I loosen it, the legs are gonna fall down. And I'm being very gentle here because I have a desk instead of the ground. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this section. And whenever I take the light stand off the ground, or in this case, my desk, you're gonna see the light stand's legs go up. And whenever I plant it down on the ground, or in this case, again, my desk, then you're gonna see the legs go back down. And that's gonna make your life a lot easier whenever you shoot on location with your lighting and you need to move your light stand around but don't want the legs to be in the way of wherever you're moving around. I'm actually really curious to know what you guys use yourself right now. If you use a light stand like this one, or if you use a regular light stand, a C stand, or sometimes some people use a tripod with an adapter on top to connect lighting onto it. Uh, let me know what you guys use because I'm very curious. And while you do that, I'll let you guys know about today's sponsor, which is Adorama. Adorama is an industry leading retailer that has been serving photography, videography, and audio customers for almost 50 years now. Their motto is everyone is a creator and they do their best to unleash that creator within us all by providing us with the tools and expertise necessary to get the job done. I personally shop at Adorama for both the great deals on products I use and recommend, but also the great customer service on those products as well. If you find yourself interested in anything that I talk about in today's video, check the links that will be in the description area below and be sure to use those links if you decide to order. One of the biggest improvements that the Flashpoint AutoStand Pro has over the original Flashpoint AutoStand is that it has a nice sleek design in addition to the same sturdy material that it was made out of, which is aluminum alloy construction. But I do want to show you guys the sleek finish on it because I do have the stand right here. And there's also this nice blue accent right here, this nice blue silver accent. And as a personal fan of the black and blue color scheme, I really like that a lot. The stand is air cushioned for safety and comfort, has easy twist lock knobs for adjusting the height, rounded leg tips for easy opening on flat surfaces, offers a quarter 20 and 3 8 reversible top stud that can be mounted vertically or horizontally, can reach up to 9.13 feet in height, loads up to 16 and a half pounds, closes to 36 inches whenever you need to travel, that's important to know, and weighs just 4.8 pounds. According to the Adorama website, another thing that's improved with the Flashpoint AutoStand Pro over the original is the sound dampening through an advanced design on the Pro, whenever you splay the legs out or retract them, it's gonna be a little bit quieter than the original. Like I said before, the Flashpoint AutoStand Pro is air cushioned, and I learned that way late in the game what air cushioning was on a light stand, so I do wanna demonstrate that for anyone out there who doesn't know what that is and is a visual learner like myself. So I'm gonna just raise one section of this light stand and then tighten it again. And then let's say, for example, on a photo shoot, I forgot to, you know, I forgot that I was actually loosening this section and I thought I was loosening another section that I wanted to raise. So I'm gonna loosen it up again. And instead of just snapping back down into this position right here, there was some air cushioning that kind of helped resist that amount of extra gravity that would have happened and just snapped down and would have messed up something that was on top of the slight stand. So I wanted to demonstrate that for any visual learners like myself. And if anybody else experienced this, let me know. But I remember a long time ago, I didn't have an air cushion light stand and there wasn't this much space between the sections right here. I actually snapped the light stand onto my palm and then I had a, like internal bleeding in one section on my palm for about a month. But if you guys experienced that, let me know because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. I'll be leaving a link to not just the nine foot Flashpoint AutoStand Pro that I showed you in this video, but also the seven foot Flashpoint AutoStand Pro and the 13 foot as well. So in case you guys are interested in getting any of those options, they will be linked in the description area below. I would have already used this light stand on location, but it's been cold here. We're experiencing cold front over here in Texas. So I haven't used it yet, but I will use it in a future video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the very next video.